Thank you for your help with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? Well now, a hero. Look at you. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's, well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. Yeah, that's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. And you can be damn sure there'll be more of them coming. The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air, you can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. The city is controlled by a man named Dasher. He's powerful. No one there dares go against him. No one except me. I need you to sneak into the pit and find a way to get close enough to him to steal the cure. Nothing to it, right? Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Well, that's not the best idea, but at this point I'm pretty much out of options, so if that's how it has to be. Are you from the pit? I thought you were supposed to be a guy. I really don't. I'm just glad that you finally showed up. We've been waiting here for fucking ever. Whatever, man. You're here now. I just hope you're ready to do business. We got three. Usual price, 200 each. Boss says no trade, so cash only. Finally! Here's the key to the gate! Do whatever you want with him. I couldn't care less. Oh, hey, Eulogy says to tell your man that we're sorry that we could only get three. We'll get a better roundup next time. Pleasure doing business with you.
Oh my god! Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? Thank you. Thank you so much. Hang on, someone's coming. Let me do the talking. That's the difference between us. I have a lot of guts. You don't. We've got to keep moving. There's no time. This is as far as I can go. It's up to you from here on out. Don't expect to take anything you have in with you. They'll strip you clean, but I'll find a way to get your things back to you. Once you're inside, find a slave named Adia. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. After you have it, I'll contact you. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you.
came from. I love it. Another slave wandered back here, huh? What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Why, I should... Wait, what the... Now, would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Scab. I hit the jackpot today. Now get back in there and get to work, or next time I'll just stake you out there for the drugs.
Find some other place to be. Now. Your friends are good. Werner sent you, didn't he? Good. He finally found someone. We can't talk out in the open like this. Meet me in my house as soon as you can. We'll talk there. but we shouldn't take too long. They saw you come in here, so they'll come looking for you if you take too long. I have a plan for getting you into Asher's palace, but we need to wait. In the meantime, you're going to have to blend in. Yes, it is. I don't know what you saw on the way in. You're going to need to look busy, or the bosses will sniff you out pretty quickly. And if they look too close, oh, you don't look like you belong here. So I'm going to send you out to do a job that will keep you away from the guards. Outside of the mill, there are a bunch of old steel ingots just lying around. Every so often, the foreman puts out a work order to collect them. It's practically a death sentence, and they never assign it to anyone. They make us pick who's going to do it. Bastards. Yeah, well, the area is full of trogs. You're either an idiot or a smartass. Either way, I don't think it's funny. They're what most of us hope we never become, but the contamination gets to everyone. For most people, it's some form of cancer. Sometimes harmless, sometimes not. For others, the contamination drives them insane. If it doesn't kill them, it changes them. They become animals, deformed and inhuman. It's not pretty. They're everywhere and they kill on sight. If you need a weapon, check with Marco in the mill. He's been making some of our tools into weapons. You might even be able to find a gun on one of the dead bosses out in the steel yard. They... What was that? What's going on in here, Medea? Who is this scam? Um, nothing. Uh, nothing, sir. I, I was just telling this new worker about the job the foreman posted. Oh, yeah? So she's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Yes, sir. I, I told her what she needs to do. She knows. Ten ingots as fast as she can. Well, then. I hope you also said goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, playtime's over. Get to work, grinders. Get back to work, professor. Eyes down. Have you seen Wild Bill around? Bill's a friend of mine, a very dear friend. We've worked the mill together for a long time. Last week, we were forced to choose someone to gather ingots from the steel yard. Bill volunteered. He didn't want anyone to have to die out there, but he's a survivor. He can't be dead. You look like you can handle yourself. Could you look for him and bring him back? Thank you so much. Just be careful out there. Bill would never forgive himself if someone got hurt looking for him. Good luck. You 
seem so anxious. So loud. The bosses can't see what I'm up to over here. Making weapons. Lots of them. There's something coming, and soon. So, I take the crap we find out in the yard, and some of the tools we use, and I make them into stuff we can fight the bosses with. Yeah. You're the one Medea told me about. Werner sent you, right? I can help you out. Take this. It's called an auto axe. Nice, huh? I make them out of the old car parts the breakers drag in from the city. Do what you can with it. Just be careful around the bosses. Make a wrong move, and you're done. So you're the lucky scab gathering ingots for me today, huh? Good to see a little enthusiasm for once. Well, follow me. So, do your duty, huh? Who'd you piss off to get that death sentence? Actually, don't even tell me. It's not my job. See that fell up there? You'll be seeing lots of those. And if you survive them, you'll probably run right into those crazies that live up in the blast. Tell you what, why don't you do me a favor and get killed close to the door? That way, I don't have to walk so far to reach your corpse. Eh? Here's the door. Get out there and grab some ingots. Don't come back without at least ten. Turn them into me and I'll see if I can slip a little something you way.
That's so... time.
dead. Dead! Thanks for patching up that asshole. He's got at least another week before he drops dead from exhaustion. <laughs>
Well, now, look who made it back. I'll take those ingots, Scab. You just get back in there and get about your business. You got a real knack for this. Here, this might help you work a little harder. Original owner can't use it anymore on account of decapitation. Looks good. Guess I could... Yeah. How about I give you some... Here. This armor was a special order for one of the whole fighters. Great against bullets, but didn't help him when he got pushed off the bridge. Nothing like some... Sure thing. Bit of... Some genius got to tinkering with his laser. Polished metal barrel. You bet I do. Check out this cutting... Which just... Nothing. Guess she earned this. Used to belong to a desert priest. Of course, that didn't stand up to a little testing. But damn if it wasn't a gloriously fun time. More... Nope. Go grab a few more. And I'll see what I can spare for my star scavenger. luck finding Wild Bill? Oh, that's wonderful. Where is he now? Did he come back with you? He's dead? But he promised us he would come back. I, I, I have to let the others know. Thank you for your help. Here, take these stim packs. They're all I have. There in his palace and us down here in the muck. Good. Just in time. Asher has ordered everyone into the square. Rumor has it that he's going to open up the arena. That's perfect for us. It's simple, really. From time to time, Asher opens up the arena. We call it the hole. Any slave who wants to can fight against the gladiators. If you win, you get your freedom. More importantly, you get an audience with Asher. It's the only way a slave will ever get to talk to him directly. You fight, you win, and when you talk to Asher, you take the cure.
Not exactly, no. Warner has a distraction planned. We haven't been making these weapons for nothing, you know. But when you're meeting with Asher, you'll be close enough to grab the cure. Get it and bring it to me. Now let's get out there and listen to Asher's speech. There'll be hell to pay if the guards catch us in here. Citizens of the pit, workers of downtown, traders of uptown, and all fierce souls who do what must be done, I bring you good news. We stand at the dawn of a new golden age, where others merely survive. We thrive! Our industry is the envy of the Commonwealth. Our safety is the envy of the capital wastes. Our might is the envy of Ronto. And while I have led your efforts, it has been by your own strength that you have earned all the envy of the world. They envy the steel shaped by the workers in our mills. And they envy the strength of our traders and raiders who wield the steel for the pit. And most of all, they envy our victories in the struggle for freedom. Because yes, freedom is what we all work towards. Freedom from fear, freedom from disease, freedom to live as once we did before we were shackled by atomic fire. And so, to celebrate this struggle, I ask my loyal workers, who among you is prepared to fight for your freedom? Who among you will risk your life in the crucible to create a new life of freedom in Uptown. Who will take this rare chance to thrive? Right here, we have one. This woman here will fight in the hole. Come on, Asher. Will you send someone to the hole who actually stands a chance? Very well, Medea. If this is the will of the workers, then this woman shall be their champion! Madam, you carry not only the dream that workers can become free, but that we may all someday become truly free from the threats of our world. Prepare yourself, madam. And when you are ready to be forged anew, report to Phaedra in the steel mill. The rest of you are dismissed. You head down to the hole. Talk to Phaedra. She sets up the fights. You're the dumbass scab that signed up to fight in the hole, huh? Well, head on down. Phaedra's waiting for you. <laughs> and what are you doing down here, slave? Don't tell me your pale ass is gonna throw down. You don't sign up. You tell me that you wanna fight. I set up a fight. You die, and I repeat it with the next jackass slave who comes in here. Sound good? You want in? Come on, death's got to be better than your life, am I right? Are you?
Unless you're looking to get killed. Come back. You again? Back for more, huh? Are you sure about that? Once I lock the door, there's no going back. Arena rules. If you're ready, just step on in. Slave. Those were some of the toughest scabs around here. You've got some fight in you, it seems. But I wouldn't get too excited. I'm sure Asher's got something special planned for your next fight. Here's something for the Rads. Enjoy it while you can. Come back when you're ready for your next fight. You again? Back for more, huh? I wouldn't count on luck this time. You damn well better be ready. Asher says he wants to make this one good, so he gave you the Bear Brothers. They're a couple of mean bastards. Hell, rumor has it they're halfway to Trog as it is. But I'm sure you'll do fine. Just fine. Well, all right, that's what I like to hear. Get on in there. Bad grinder, not bad. The Bear Brothers were some pretty mean sons of bitches. One more fight and you're free. But I wouldn't plan on making it through the next one. Here's a shot for the Rads. Come back when you're ready for your last fight. You again? Back for more, huh? This'll be your last fight, Scab. One more and I don't get to call you that anymore. You ready? You're going up against Gruber. He's one of the only slaves to win in the hole. There's only ever been, what, three? I guess he got a taste for blood. But unfortunately for you, he's got a pretty decent gun. So odds are this is the last time you and I will be talking. Well, all right, that's what I like to hear. Get on in there.
And Gruber falls! Gruber falls! The champion is toppled! A new slave Get in there, or die in here. Either way... Welcome her! She's in Well now, aren't you quite the scrapper? Congratulations. You've done well. Asher wishes to see you. The guards will be told to allow you to pass. watches over the city from Haven. His tower in Uptown. Take the northeast exit from here and look for the tallest building in town. Oh, Asher also said that he has a few gifts for you. You'll find them in a container behind me. Enjoy, and don't keep the man waiting. You're new, aren't you? Are you here from the Eerie Stretch? The Capital Wasteland? Ronto? Where's home? Well, since you might be able to help me, I'll let you in on a little secret. The slaves are always planning all sorts of things. I find out what's going on, and let the bosses know, and they let me shrug off some of the work details. Good deal, huh? If you hear anything, you should let me know. What's new? Have you heard anything? What's new? Have you heard anything? I guess that shouldn't surprise anyone. The bosses all thought they were up to something. Here's a couple of things for your trouble. They should help keep you alive out here. So, what have you heard? That figures. Must be why the bosses hate him so much. Here are a couple things. Thanks for your help. So, what have you heard? Oh. Oh? A cure? That is very interesting. I'll be sure to note that. Here's a little something that I found. Make good use of it. So, what have you heard? From outside the pit? That's... I heard there might be someone from far away showing up. Here's a little something that I found. Make good use of it. So, what have you heard? I knew that bastard was up to something. Finally, after all he's done to me, I can get him. Here's something for your trouble. I can't thank you enough for this one.
going. worker who thinks they can address their betters. I'm sure everyone's impressed that you killed a pig in the hole. Don't think that makes you an equal. It's the price I pay for perfection. And a fair price it is if it means I can avoid things like you. Bring back any good food? Hey, if it isn't quick draw. Hmm. Guess we've got another soldier. Don't think you're so special, kid. You're not the first to climb your way out of the mud. You'd be surprised how many of us worked our way up, even if we don't like to admit it. The rest are just toughs from the wasteland who decided to join the biggest gang around. Either way, watch your back around here. Nobody got to Uptown by playing nice. Hey, look. You got something to say, or you just here to stare at the freak? Ghoul? Who are you calling a ghoul? Get lost before I dump you in the river. if it ain't the champion of the hole. That was a hell of a show you put on down there. Good thing, too. Otherwise, I was gonna start shooting down there myself just to keep things interesting. I should hope so. That's what I did when I was fighting down there. And it really gets the crowd going when they see you've got some fight in you. Hey, if it isn't the newest addition to our little family. You hit the jackpot now, Wiz Kid. You're in Ash's army. Now's when the hard work really starts. I hope so, for your sake. You screw up down in the mill, you just get a beating. It's harsh, but it heals. But if you screw up when raiding a caravan, you get gut shot and bleed out in the dirt. So you better be as tough as you think you are. But I do what I can to keep our mistakes from being too fatal. If you need to drop some rats, I'm here to help. Then say no more, friend. Can't share much, but they should do the trick. Use it in good health. If it isn't Ash's newest pet, he doesn't let many mongrels into his mansion. Him and his keen eyes must see something special in you, so Lulu's going to keep her eyes on you, too. Ha! That rules out your wit. It must be something else that makes you so interesting to our lord. Lulu will see soon enough. Oh, yes. But first, perhaps Asher's pet needs to be fed? Then here, delicious food for you. 
eat and be good. Saw you earn your ticket uptown. Don't start thinking that makes you special. You're still just meat. You just got moved up to a higher grade of sausage is all. Not hardly. Deep down, we're all meat. And even the best of us is just gonna be trog chow someday. No shame in it. Just the way life goes. It's all meat, baby. Speedy. Well, if it ain't the new scum, congrats on the promotion. What the fuck are you smiling? Want something? You on food run duty? I'll be with you right after I maintain some order and dispense a little justice. And I suppose you'll follow that up by raising the dead. No, but I may heal the infirm later in the week. Time permitting, of course. Sir, we've had sightings of Werner back in the city, and there's been an increase in chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom someday. 
Whatever we call them, they've been gathering makeshift weapons. All right, all right. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on Medea at all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go through her. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Yes, sir. Okay, break's over. Nice work in the hole, New Blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. So that begs the question, who are you? And what are you doing in my city? I understand. We've all got a past. And damn few of us have reason to be proud of it. That's all behind you now. In the pit, you'll be part of a growing army, a thriving industry, and maybe even witness to a cure for radiation. But we aren't perfect, and sometimes the past comes back to haunt us. Tell me, do you know a man named Werner? Ever since the city was scourged, we've done what everyone does. Whatever's necessary to survive. I know my city seems barbaric to you, but it's the only way we can carve out a home in this hellhole, and it's kept these people alive. But that's enough stalling for time. So do you know Werner? I appreciate your honesty. It's a rare virtue in this age. Werner was my lieutenant until he betrayed me and escaped justice. And if I know him, he brought you here to steal something very dear to the city. Do you intend to follow through with his plan? Feel free to be honest. Please, don't be intimidated by the turret behind you. Easy enough. You could say no because he lied to you. My discovery is a miracle. But it isn't the type that sets slaves free. Now it would do a lot more good if you were to... Lord Asher, the slaves are rioting, and someone's armed them. We need you out here, and fast! Damn it, I'm on my way. I suggest you forget Werner's offer, and consider mine. Stop Werner, and you'll have a bright future in the... Go find Werner and put a stop to him. Hello? Oh, I wasn't expecting Asher to let you into the lab. I'm Sandra, and if I know my husband, he's already made you an offer to join us, right? So you're here to see our little miracle, aren't you? This is my daughter Marie. She can be a handful, but my little angel is going to save the city. Actually, it's a combination lab and nursery. Little Marie needs a lot of attention and care if she's going to cure the city. Well, this is a nice surprise. Apparently you and Asher are the only other people who know anything about science in this place. Yes, it seems that our daughter was born with a naturally acquired immunity to any form of mutation. It's nothing short of a miracle, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out why, but she may just hold the key to stopping the pit's trog problem. Hell, maybe other types of mutations too. Oh no, these tests are perfectly safe. In fact, between the crib and her uncanny health, she's probably the safest child in the world. Asher and I would never risk her health. And if that means it takes longer to develop a full cure, then, well, everyone else can wait. You're a dear, but things are well in hand here. If you really want to help, 
you should probably go deal with whatever had Asher rushing off in such a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take care of one last test before Marie's nap time. yourself in Lord Asher's home. Bring you any good food? We don't need another dirty worker up here. Just because Asher lets you in, doesn't mean we have to like it. Watch your stepping up now, or you might just take a tumble. I already fought my way out of there once. There ain't no force in the pit that could make me go back there again. Not you, not Asher, not anything, got it?
it's true. I'm nothing but trouble. There you go. So, I suppose you signed on with Asher and his kind, did you? <laughs> You're not the first to win their freedom and forget where they came from. Of course I knew you, dolt! I also know it's the only chance we had of finding a cure and ransoming our freedom. If they ever find a cure, do you think they'll share it with us? Of course not! Why waste medicine on people you'll just work to death anyway? Fine. If it'll get you out of the way, go check under the blast furnace in the steel yard. Look for a rooftop door in the southwest. It's got a blue light. You can't miss it. But Warner will put you in your place. They'd rather die for freedom than die working for the raiders. Watch your back. Now a grinder made it out of the hole. That hasn't happened in a while. Well, I hope you have some money, newbie. Yeah, sure, newbie.
can go back. What's up? You can go back. Saw you fighting in the hole. What a piece of work. Now I know why you ain't afraid of those drugs. No hard feelings, huh? Understood, champ. But if you want to keep collecting ingots, I still got plenty of gear stashed away. You bring me ingots, I'll make sure you get rewarded. Can't be more fair than that. Well... There's still more out there. No. You had that sense to stay. Damn it! Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready, and there are plenty of tests to run, so hurry up and put the brat. Wait. Where's the cure? Did you lose it? Where is that little bastard? Oh, boo fucking who? You don't think bringing those bastards down is worth getting your hands dirty? No, I guess you're okay with torturing slaving scum like that, just so long as you don't have to make a decision, huh? Oh, I see how it is. You signed on with Asher, and now you're gonna stand by your man. Maybe trying to catch his eye and be his queen? Well, good luck with that, star fucker. I'm sure the two of you will kill each other eventually, even without my help. You, him, and this whole town can burn for all I care. I'm gone. Thank you. 
Move along, please.
knew I could trust you, and I wasn't disappointed. Werner's been stopped. The workers are returning to their rightful place. The pit has a bright future ahead of it, and so do you. Right now, nothing. Until we can reproduce a treatment from Marie, they'll have to keep working. Otherwise, this city falls apart. But once we do have a cure, things will be different. We won't need to kidnap people for our city. We'll be able to grow naturally. Until then, this is the way it has to be. It's just what has to be done. Now that Marie's back, we have a chance at curing the disease that's been ravaging the pit since the bombs. Without it killing our kids, we can grow like a real city. No more bringing in slaves. No more forced labor. Things can get better. It's taken me a lot of work to rebuild this city. With your help, it's finally going to have a chance. You've kept the city in one piece, and put a stop to Werner's plans. Yeah, I guess you've earned one. As a full citizen of the pit, you'll have full access to the ammo press in the mill. It's how I keep my soldiers well armed. So make good use of it. And I think Sandra's made some progress with the cure. So here's a little something to help with radiation. Sure, if that's what you want. I'm sure Harris will keep pouring drinks down your throat as long as you can afford them. Or you can help out at the mill by collecting metal from the steel yard. I'm sure the foreman would be glad to repay you for your work. And if you want to get on Sandra's good side, you can always bring her toys for Marie. It's a little thing, but it make a difference. This thing? It's a relic from my time with the Brotherhood of Steel, decades ago. It's been through so much that they'd hardly recognize it as one of theirs. A little like me, come to think of it. Not in the slightest. During the Scourge, we looted the pit and left the rest of it to rot. I was just a dumb convert who got stuck here afterwards. See, beneath it all, the Brotherhood's just lazy. It's easier to loot a dying city than to work to bring it back to life. So that's what they did. They're so obsessed with the technology of the past, they don't care what needs to be done for today and tomorrow. It takes real hard work to rebuild and run a city. But there isn't a machine to do it for them. So the Brotherhood isn't interested. Good riddance.
Yes. Good to see you. Good to see Every eye shall be blind to this. Glory. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. And all without asking for pay, too. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key in the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you... What can... I'm sorry, madam. My condensation collection... So, are they intelligent? Do they have a... What do you need?
Good hunting. Yeah. Are you? Bye.